Okay, welcome back to the second part of our lecture. I hope you enjoyed the short video about her life. And uh, you must have noticed that um, we give a lot of attention to her uh, connection with Alice Toplas and her, um, was, as they say, her wife. They don't actually mention, I think, uh, that she comes from a Jewish family, something that uh, adds to uh, her status as a minor writer. And, and they do um, talk a lot about her connection with modernism. What is modernism? What is modernism? I'm sure a lot of you know, uh, or at least heard of the term. Uh, modernism is a literary and generally artistic movement, right? There's modernist painting, modernist dance uh, movement uh, from the early part of the 20th century. So it's about 100 years old now, and it's all about bringing art into the modern world. And uh, one of the most basic uh, tenets or characteristics of modernism is to experiment, to do something new with art or with literature. This is both in terms of the content of uh, the literary works, by right? describing something that uh, usually you don't describe in literature or that you didn't describe in literature up till then, such as uh, le lesbian relationships, but also in terms of the style using styles that are unusual, that are new, that are not the most basic, obvious way to write fiction or to write a story. And uh, often these styles can be difficult to understand, right? The, the, the principle is not to make the easiest story to read, but to make a story that's interesting to read, that's challenging to read, that is like an experiment, is this a way to express myself? Is this a, a way I can write a story? And uh, so um, Stein wasn't just a, a modernist writer, she was connected to a lot of modernist uh, artists and other modernist writers, and most famous of which is Picasso, who uh, did a very famous portrait of Stein. And you can see even from the portrait, it's not a straightforward a natural realistic portrait of her. It's not like a photograph. There are all kinds of uh, experimental, uh, abstract ways. For instance, the eyes uh, look much flatter than, and bigger than they would in a photograph. And comp of course, compared to other Picasso paintings uh, you may have seen, this is relatively realistic. Okay, so I told you uh, that um, her style is of, often uh, very experimental. And just uh, before I go on with the video, I wanted to ask you, just sit in home and, and speak with yourself, what was the most obvious stylistic aspect of the story, Miss Fair and Miss Tim? So if you said repetition, you are correct. It's a very short story, and but the vocabulary there is very limited because she repeats the same words again and again. And the way we're going to read the story is to think about a number of these words and what they mean, especially uh, uh, the word that I'll say is kind of code word. Uh, so repetition, and this is very, very typical of um, of Stein's style, she a lot of her poems and her prose pieces are really built on repeating the same words again and again, and trying how the words change when you repeat them. One of her most famous lines is, a rose is a rose is a rose, sort of playing with this um, tendency in a lot of poets and to compare the beloved to the rose, and playing with that tradition and maybe making us ask, is a rose really a rose? Is it just a word? Is, it, uh, is the third rose in the line the same as the first rose in the line? It's asking more questions than it's answering them. And you'll see in my interpretation of the story 
will be similar. I'm going to ask more questions than I can answer, partly because the style is so experimental and modernist. Now, in this, um, in this story, which is about uh, two women, Miss Skin and Miss Fair, who are on the literal level gay together, and it's the story of their lives together, and the, the repetition sort of imitates uh, chatter, small talk, gossip, but it's so exaggerated, you can't imagine somebody actually having a conversation uh, like that. Uh, so before we end uh, the, the video, I'll ask you what's the word that's most repeated or what are the words that are most uh, repeated in the story and think why um, think why you think they are important maybe write this down for yourself uh, before you go on